Asalaamu As Alaikum and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my ASOS and Zara Boxing Day haul. It has been quite a mission to get these items. Well, actually ASOS, my items have been here for ages. Um, they have fantastic service. They were perfectly fine. I've actually had boxes stacked up waiting to film this haul for the longest time. But what has delayed me is Zara. If you follow me on Twitter, you will have heard of the whole, I don't even know what, how to describe it, the whole mess basically, with the delivery company Hermes. They, they were supposed to deliver my parcel a week ago and they had an email saying it had been delivered and signed for and nobody had delivered it. So I spent about a week trying to chase it up, contacting Zara because Hermes don't actually have their own like contact number which you can phone and find out what's happened. So you have to go to the retailer, I was contacting Zara, I kept saying Hermes are extending the investigation, they are seeing what they can do, they are checking out what's happened and we'll get back to you and they were never getting back to me and because it was quite a large order I was getting like more and more anxious and worried about what happened if I was going to get a refund or not anytime soon if my order was ever going to get to me I'd assumed it was stolen to be honest with you everyone was at home at the time and nobody heard a doorbell nobody heard anyone knock on the door it just hadn't been delivered even though they said it had which was just a massive mess now almost a week later I came home to find it sitting on the kitchen table and I asked my family what happened and said it was left by the green bin. So obviously somebody, after the investigation was put out, somebody had come and dumped it by the green bin and driven off, which is um, always very helpful and a very safe place to put it. So anyway, my parcel is finally here from Zara, thank goodness, um, but I am just going to put the go through the ASOS things first and then I will unbox the Zara. I've got a few ASOS returns to do so I'm going to go through this first, tell you what I'm keeping, tell you what I've been enjoying and tell you what I'm going to be sending back. I do have the ASOS website open here so I can check prices. just had a really really good shoe sale on actually. Um, the only item of clothing that I picked up from them is this weekday turtleneck sweatshirt and it's in this sort of corally colour which I really don't own a lot of. It looks like this, and we'll try and hold it up and show you as much as possible. I've not tried this on yet. It's quite oversized, quite baggy, and the material is really interesting. It's like a stretchy material and quite a rough cut as well. There's no like stitching around the edges, it's just sort of been cut. This was originally £25 and I got it for £10 in peach pink in the shade medium. I picked up the London Rebel Cleat Soul Loafers. These were £45 and I got them for £17. And I did like how they've got a thicker sole. It just seemed like this was going to be quite a durable shoe, especially for school, because obviously you need to wear shoes that are really comfortable. I'm going to be keeping them and seeing if I can wear into them because I do really like how they feel. And I own quite a few sort of more boot type shoes and not really proper shoes, if you know what I mean. So I definitely needed something like this in my collection and hopefully they can be broken into. Another pair of black shoes that I picked up for the purpose of buying them for school. The Stradivarius Lace Up Studded Brogues and they look like this. I've been wearing them all week and I actually really really like these. They've got a soft sort of material here that looks like leather. I'm pretty sure it's not real leather but it does look like leather and they've got studs all around the edges. The only issue I really have is that unfortunately at the front here one of the studs has already come off. I've only worn these for a week so that kind of tells me that the studs are going to fall off over time which is a bit of a shame but these were £36 down to £25 and the main reason why I'm keeping them is because they are so so comfortable. Again in the size 6 they're lace up, I'm not a massive fan of laces it's just a bit tedious but they're really 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 comfy and I was considering buying another pair. Um, but because the studs are coming off, I'm not going to buy a second pair, but I am going to keep an eye on this brand on ASOS from now on because sometimes it's the brand itself that makes a difference and these are really, really comfortable so far. Moving on to the ASOS brand themselves, I purchased two pairs of boots and the first pair are these ASOS artistic ankle boots and they look like this. They've got a really, really tiny heel and they're like the suede look. They haven't got a point, they've got like a rounded edge. And these were £28 and they're down to £12.50. Now what I like about them is that they've got a proper ankle support here. And I did feel that when I tried them on for the first time. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them though because I'm not sure if I love how they look. The second pair of ASOS boots are the ASOS Admission Pointed Ankle Boots. And they look like this. Again, the suede look and this time they've got a pointed toe. I'm not too happy with the fact that the point is a bit of a rough cut, it almost, I mean it looks pretty cheap and if I paid 30 quid for them, not 
of liquid right at the end. I don't think that was like the best design. I do like the fact that they've got the silver detailing there. Now I tried these on and I have to say they were very, very narrow and quite uncomfortable and that is normal with these kind of boots. When they've got hinted look, they are going to be a bit tighter on the feet. But I already have boots similar to this from the look and they're slightly heeled as well. And I think because these are not as comfortable as I like them to be, even though they're an amazing bargain, they were 30 quid, I got them for £12, really, really good bargain. If they're not comfortable, no point keeping them. Okay, the next pair of shoes are again ASOS brand, and I've had my eyes on these for quite a while, so when I saw them in the sale, I was like, this is the shop, fit them up. And unfortunately, I don't love them. Uh, these are the ASOS Shiraz pointed heels. So they look like this from the side, they've got a small heel. Um, I'm like five foot seven. I really don't tend to wear heels on a regular basis because I feel like I'm tall enough. But what I really liked about these on the website is the fact they've got the sort of V shape here. I thought they look really classy and really, really nice. I like the Zara version and I also like these. But when I tried them on, they just looked a bit clumpy. I just don't think that they're my favourite black shoes. I do already have one or two pairs from Primark actually, which I whip out when I need to wear a pair of heels. So again, although this was almost half price and a really, really good bargain, I think these are going to be returned. I purchased another pair of ASOS heels. Um, these are kitten heels this time and they look like this. They're super, super different from me. I'm not one to wear a lot of colour, especially not on my feet. But I really did like them actually. They're sort of like a looking more red in the camera, but they've got a little bit of orange to them as well. And these are the ASOS Strike Mid Heels and they were £25 down to 10 and I'm going to be keeping these. I just think they look, would look really nice, especially with Asian outfits like she like these. They would just um, be the perfect kind of colour and the perfect shoe. I always struggle with shoes with Shirai Kameez because I'm such a like boots slash trainers girl that when you wear Shirai Kameez, you can't really wear those to have to shoes with them. So yeah, I, I'm definitely keeping these. And for a tenner, I feel like they're such a bargain. And the final pair of shoes actually came in their own dust bag. And that's when you know it's fancy. <laughs> these are the True Decadent Berry Velvet Slingback Heeled Shoes. They were £40 down to £16 in the sale, which is just the best bargain ever. I think it's probably the biggest bargain of this whole haul. And they look like this. They are so stunning. I absolutely love them. I love velvet. I know that it comes in and out every single winter time, but I just think these are beautiful. I love the detailing on it at the front and the heel again is perfect for me. Really versatile as well. I could wear them with Asian suits, I could wear them with like black trousers just to sort of dress up an outfit. Um, just a massive fan of these. So ASOS was pretty hit and miss, but I did pick up some really good bargains. And again, I'm glad I can just really hassle free, return the items that I don't want and get my money back. That's what I love about ASOS. They're just so simple and easy to shop with. And now to move on to this huge Zara order. It's in a massive box. Honestly, it's a bit of a miracle that it's actually got to me after that whole long, stressful week wait. So I'm looking forward to opening it and seeing my items finally. I'm normally someone who loves the Zara sale, but I have to say that online, like, it wasn't amazing. It weren't like huge sales, you know, it wasn't nothing like 50% off or anything. Okay, the first item I picked up is this draped neck cardigan and it has a belt. And this was £16 and it was reduced to £10. It's one of those items which I just think I will wear a lot, especially at work. Um, you can just pull a cardigan on on top of whatever you're wearing and Zara knitwear tends to be really good quality usually. I purchased this oversized plush jersey dress. I paid £10 for it, I think it might have been £20 and I just really like the slogan on it. It says optimism as a lifestyle and this is in the size medium. The reason why I picked this up is because it's kind of the vibe I'm trying to go for in 2018. So yeah, optimism as a lifestyle. I thought this was really nice. I bought two pairs of jeans this time around from Zara and I do like their jeans but I always have difficulty with their sizing. These are the high waist mom fit jeans in black and I got them in the size 20. Well, and these are usually £26 and they were on sale for £18 so again not a huge sale but you know a little bit off the usual price so I went into sale shopping with that in mind that I need to get my hands on a pair of black jeans and I was really happy that I managed to fit those up in my size. The second pair of jeans I got are a different wash. These are the high rise mum fit jeans. I think these have got a little bit more 
going on here, if that makes sense. I do like the wash of these, and again, I really like the fit of it. The legs are not skinny at all, and these are the same price. They were originally £26 down to £18. Okay, getting on to the smaller accessories and shoes. I purchased those really, really cool looking boots. They come in a little dust bag. I do like the presentation of Zara. These are the, I don't know why they're called high heel, right? Because they're not high heel, they're very much a small heel. But they're called the high heel two lay ankle boots from Faux Pearls. These were originally £20 down to £16. And what I like is that they've got pearls, but they've got like a netting over the pearls, which a, it looks really cool to sort of like lay it up, but B, it means that the pearls aren't going anywhere. <laughs> the pearls are not going to fall off, they're not going to fly off. So hopefully they fit okay. I've got a feeling they're going to be a little bit tight and a little bit snug, especially around this area. They do look very, I don't know what the word is, like sleek and pointed and narrow. That's the word I'm looking for. But yeah, I'm not sure how they're going to fit. Hopefully they fit nicely. If not, they're going to go back. But I thought they were a pretty cool, funky statement to add to my wardrobe. The second pair of shoes that I picked up are another sort of similar heel style. They're basically a kitten heel, which I just love. They have got a velvety finish to them, and then the bow is super cute. I just really like these. Again, they would look so nice with an Asian outfit, just so simple and statement-ish with a little bow but also they would look really nice with just like a pair of um, smart trousers and a nice shirt and they just sort of finish off the outfit. These are £26 down to £16 so they're about £10 off which is a much better bargain in my eyes and I'm really hoping that I like the fit of these because they just look adorable. Another funky accessory piece I picked up comes in its own little bag here. Oh my gosh this is so cool it looks even better in person. Okay, so this has got a gold chain, and the bag itself is basically made out of faux feathers. It's so fluffy and different, and I really love it. The gold detailing is beautiful. I do tend to wear a lot of gold over silver, so I do really like that. So, and finally, I went a little bit crazy with the Zara perfumes. If you know me, you know that I don't have the best sense of smell, so I'm not one to spend loads and loads of money on perfume. Although this Boxing Day, I didn't spend too much money on makeup as such but I did spend quite a bit on perfume. I use the Zara Black Amber on a day to day basis like in the winter time. It's a little bit more woodeny and it's not a very sweet or fruity scent which I quite like um, but it is quite strong and more sweet. I'm just a really really big fan of Zara perfumes. I think that they last a decent amount of time and they're super affordable as well. This is the Zara Zero 2 Sweet Vanilla. This one is the Hackney London edition, I believe. This is 100 millilitres for £8, which is just such good value for money. And I think that because they're not too big as well, you can easily throw them into your handbag. I'm actually going to keep one in my car as well from now on so that I'm always like prepared. A nice perfume if I need one. Um, and yeah, I just really like this. It's not too heavy and not too intense, which is great. And um, yeah, it's called the Sweet Vanilla Hackney London. This is a Zara Sweet Vanilla perfume oh i like the like leather look casing there that's very cute i'm not going to open this and spray this but again this is 100 milliliters and it was a tenner and then i also picked up the zara accord number four and then some french word which i cannot even try to pronounce because my goodness i can't pronounce french in my life this was 16 pounds and it was down to 10 pounds so a bit more of a saving how fancy is that it's got its own little box there and it looks a little bit Chanel-esque, it's got a very funky pebble shaped bottom. I was just reading the notes from the website basically and this seemed like it would be something that I would like. Personally I'm not a big fan of musky scents or anything that's too manly. I tend to go for like more sweet floral scents, definitely when I was a teenager I loved like really really sweet scents. Now I'm definitely going towards more like vanilla-y notes and Something that's a little bit more sophisticated than something that's too sweet, if that makes sense. And that is the end of my ASOS and Zara haul. I'm going to be returning a few of the ASOS bits, definitely, like those boots that I wasn't a big fan of. But I'm not sure about the Zara things. It depends on how well they fit, I guess. But I'm actually really, really happy with everything I've got. And alhamdulillah, I'm so glad that my order was found. I don't know what happened there. If you guys picked up anything good in the sales, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.